hello everyone welcome to collective guidance tarot i hope that you are all doing fantastic and that you are safe um wherever you are so in today's reading i will be looking at um whether megan Markle uh, uses black magic so i've been feeling better lately and um that is a good thing i feel like i'm well rested and yeah I'm actually starting work tomorrow so yeah um i sound like myself again and um, i'm inspired to you know do more readings because yeah i was just really exhausted and i didn't really feel like doing readings and that is actually not a good energy because yeah like if i you know if i'm not inspired to come on here and do um videos i think you guys can immediately tell when my energy is off so yeah but uh, i've been feeling quite great lately i'm well rested i'm ready for work i'm ready for 2022 happy new year to everyone so yeah let's um begin so yeah i hope that um you guys enjoy the reading please like please subscribe and i'm happy to be back yeah i'm i'm really happy that um i have my my mojo back because i haven't been feeling great i don't want to lie like i was just tired 2021 was just a demanding year for me so yeah so we are going to ask um some of the more uncomfortable questions you know questions that we've never asked before you know so yeah let us begin um yeah okay so so the first card that came out is um the six of cups so this is a card a card um that talks about looking back at the past reminiscing about the past you know it's like thinking about someone that you dealt with in the past but in this instance we're not uh, doing a reading about love so i don't think it has anything to do with um love but i don't know maybe that it has something to do with love or i'll see as um i pull out the other cards but yeah this is a card that talks about looking back at the past this is someone that's reminiscing about the past it's either they are very regretful about something that has happened in the past and Okay, I just got the message that um, you know, cups cups usually represent love, emotions, commitment. So maybe someone made a commitment in the past that they are regretful about, that they are still looking back at the past about. So that's the energy that I'm getting. So hopefully, when we clarify, we'll get um, you know, more. So. Yeah, and um, also this card is a card that can also talk about uh, childhood abuse, like or a dysfunctional home. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm very sorry about that. I was clearing my throat. So yeah, and if you hear anything in the background, that's my mom. Um, yeah, so please don't uh, be bothered by that because. I'm currently back at home, so I don't have the luxury to um, have a quiet space. But yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And we are going to work with what I have at the moment. Um, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. So, okay, this is a card that represents um, financial stability. So it's coming out in reverse. And with the two dogs, there's some loyalty. So... <laughs> I'm getting the message that um, in the past there was a commitment that she made. There was someone that she was loyal to because of um, finances. So there was a commitment that she made because of finances. Or spirit is saying that um, like whatever commitment that she's still looking back at the past about it has to do with money basically everything that she does is oh, i hope i'm making sense every commitment that 
she has made thus far it ties back to her past because there's something that she made in the past some commitment that was made in the past that she's still looking back at she's still um thinking about um that past energy something like that so yeah but uh, we are going to clarify or spirit is basically saying that um yeah there isn't really much financial abundance to her there she has to chase after these um you know commitment she has to attach herself to specific people and this thing it ties back to the past so yeah okay so i'm going to say this i don't know if like I, I don't know if previously i don't know how religious megan is right i don't know anything about her religion what she believes in but i'm seeing the message that i'm getting is that um there was a commitment that she made in the past Whatever it is that she made, she's still looking back at this commitment. It has to do with money. She was looking for emotional abundance. She was looking for financial abundance. And as you can see, this gentleman seems um, content. He seems, you know, he, she was looking for that um, abundance. But there's something that she made in the past that is still tying her to... I, I don't know if she's religious or whatever, but... I know that um, apparently she does yoga and she's vegetarian, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe there was a time in her, her life where she was experimenting with certain things because she was looking for this financial abundance, but she couldn't acquire it. So instead, she had to look for someone that could provide, you know, this financial abundance, this emotional abundance why because she couldn't get it herself she could never attain it herself <sighs> okay the king of cups and okay <sighs> okay so <laughs> so i've been getting okay guys i'm going to say this name i've been getting the message that um they are not happy in their marriage and spirit is highlighting that we are asking about whether she uses black magic but it seems like spirit wants us to focus on this marriage because guys this is a, a an engagement card this is a celebration you're celebrating a wedding the four of wands card is a card that talks about marriage it, it's coming out in reverse and there's the three of swords the three of swords is heartbreak this heartbreak is going to lead someone, whoever it is that she made this commitment with, which we know is Harry, it's going to lead this individual to depression, drinking, because the King of Cups is someone that drinks their emotions. They're very addicted to alcohol. They drink a lot. And I've been saying that I see him getting an autoimmune disease. Why? Because all the parades, all the public displays that they've been doing, it's just for sure. Why? Because this thing was doomed from the moment it began. Why? Because I, I don't know who how, who Megan X is, uh, what she has done in the past, but there's this one specific individual that, because this is emotions. So there's someone, maybe she's still looking back. I'm getting a lot of messages and I hope I'm not confusing you. There's a specific individual that she's still looking back at the past or she's currently dealing with someone this is heartbreak someone is going to get their heart broken i don't know who it is and spirit is saying that this marriage is not there isn't any celebration why because there's a third person even with the reading that i did with the january predictions i did pick up on the energy that there is some cheating these are two individuals that are not happy but because of all the, the crap that they've done, all the people that they've pissed off, all the stuff that they've said, all the things that one person had to sacrifice, which is Harry. Harry had to sacrifice everything. And because of all the things that he had to sacrifice, he's at a point where he's going to realize that this thing was doomed from the beginning and it's going to force him to, to drink. He's not even happy. 
because the, the four of ones is also like you know something that happens in the public these are people that are celebrating and as you guys can see the castle you know it's celebration it's that public display of passion emotions because i'm saying passion because of the ones they are not happy we are asking about black, black magic i'm getting two messages i'm getting the message that there was some a uh, something that she committed to i don't get her as a highly religious person but there was something that she committed to that ties her energetically to the past that she committed to why because she was looking for financial abundance and also another message that i'm getting is that whoever it is that she she married which we all know is harry there's heartbreak and i've been getting this message that there is some cheating there is heartbreak and it's going to force harry to start drinking so hopefully when we use um the archetypes we'll you know maybe get a clear picture of what's going on here but yeah i can yeah i i can attest that she she is cheating someone in this dynamic is cheating and spirit has been highlighting this and guys to be honest with you the reason why i haven't been is inspired to do readings on them is because a lot has been happening that is really confusing me i'm really asking myself why is the royal family allowing them to go around and you know smear their names why aren't they doing something to stop it what what is it that she has against them and also with the whole Prince Andrew thing, like I'm really starting to question a lot of things. But anyways, that's a, a topic for another day. Yeah, but Spirit right now is saying that there is something that ties her. She's not a, a very religious person. There isn't a specific thing that she follows religiously. Like, yeah, you know, being part of the Illuminati or whatever. But there is something that she tried when she was, you know, yeah, in the early days of acting, why? Right? Because she was looking for this financial abundance, which she hasn't really acquired it. The only way she could acquire this, that's why it's coming out in reverse. The only way she could acquire it was tying herself to specific individuals, specific powerful individuals. Because, yeah, in the past she did try to attain this thing by committing to something, I don't know what it is, that uh, she energetically connected to so yeah uh, let's pull um two or three t uh, okay tarot cards and see what yeah the the, the temperance she, yeah she was looking for balance when she made this thing she was looking for financial abundance because this is someone that holds um their money this is someone that you know like a greedy person and also the temperance card is the divine it's someone that is playing with the elements as you can see in the picture someone that is manipulating the the elements and with the wings it tells us that this is something it's the ethos it's not part of yeah whatever it is that she made in the past it's part of it's something that we cannot see a commitment that she made it energetically ties it to the past i don't know what happened in the past but there was something that she made a commitment she committed herself to something that energetically she's still tied to that thing why because she's chasing after this money she, i'm going to say this megan will always chase after money if she does realize if she gets to a point and i think she is at that point because spirit is showing us that these individuals are not happy spirit is like she she will always chase after this money so spirit is saying that yeah whatever it is that we're asking about it ties to her past i don't know what she did in the past i don't know yeah whether she was part of a cult or she believed in whatever but i don't see her as someone that is religious and spirit is saying that um yeah there was a time where she was manipulating you know the elements you know how people conjure up certain spirits to bring in money to do whatever yeah spirit is saying that and spirit is saying that because she couldn't acquire this she doesn't have it in herself to you know acquire this financial abundance she had to tie herself to certain people that are powerful it goes back to her past this um this financial abundance that she has right now it's it's like beaten 
bits and pieces to a puzzle. It started in her past. And it led her where she is right now. And I just got the message that even her traveling to um, England, she just didn't come to England. She already had a plan in mind that I'm going to England. I have a specific plan in mind. I need to find this individual because Megan understands that she doesn't have it in herself to conjure up certain things. Like she doesn't have it in herself to manipulate the elements, to bring in the money. Some people are just gifted when it comes to manifesting money. She's not that person. So yes, there was some time where she dabbled with, to answer your question, yes, she does. And Spirit is saying, um, it ties to her past. She does um, play with black magic. It, it ties to her past. Why? Because she had to, you know, manipulate the elements to get what she wants because she doesn't have it in herself to, you know, be a, a, a businesswoman. She doesn't have it. Like, Spirit is saying that everything that she has acquired so far, it's because of someone. It ties back to her past. So basically, if you look at her tracks, if you look at um, what she was up to in the past, it will sort of it, it will sort of give you a glimpse into the person that she is. And also, in order to understand a person, you need to really look at the people that she hangs around with. Like, how on earth did she even connect with people like Prince Andrew? We know who Prince Andrew is attached to. We know, like, just look at. The, the type of people that uh, she's drawn to, your, your, your Ellen, your Oprah, those are people that are nasty. But she, she wants them. Like she, It's like she, she wants to be part of that cycle. So it sort of gives you a glimpse into the type of person that she is. She is chasing after this financial abundance and she does understand that she has to um, attach herself to specific people in order to get to that point. But yeah, anyways, let's pull the archetypes and see See what spirit has to say. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to use the animal spirit deck. Yeah, the self. Um, there, <laughs> there was something that this self card is tying us to the six of um cups energy. She was trying to conjure up certain things. She did certain. She made a commitment. Why? Because she was looking at. She was. She was wanting money. She was looking for abundance. And the self in reverse is a very narcissistic person. And we know that narcissists are energy vampires. Which the energy vampire thing it ties it. It ties back to her attaining certain things through people energetically she has to attach herself to certain people to get where she wants to be i really hope i'm not confusing you guys but yeah that's what's up <clears throat> yeah the the offering and the stone okay so the stone is something yeah i'm going to say this megan has been here before her soul has been here before She's not a new soul. Even in her past life. Because the stone is immovable. The stone has been through um different evolutions. She never and the, the, the stone does not evolve. It it's there to experience the evolution, but it, it doesn't evolve. So Spirit is saying that, yeah, she's been here before and in her past life, she wasn't a, a really, um, she wasn't that wealthy. So when she re reincarnated, she understood that um, in order for her to attain wealth, in order for her to elevate, she had to attach her, her energy to other people. That's why, <laughs> that's why it's so, like her energy is so confusing. It's so, it's hard for people to, you know, break down who Megan is. It's because this is someone that has been here before. She has done it before. She knows what she's doing. And yeah, like she, she has seen evolution before, but she never evolved. So when she came back again on this earth, she understood that she had to at attach herself to certain people in order for her to get to this financial. She, it, she doesn't have it in her. Her soul is not supposed to be wealthy. Like, her standing alone, Megan does not have value. It's the people that she attaches herself to that have the value. 
so yeah with the offering um the offering um in on kim Krenz on her guidebook she talks about the, the offering can mean different things it can mean offering yourself to love it can mean offering yourself to yeah certain energies and we all know how people offer themselves to certain dark energies and it's it's tying us to the six of um cups that there was something there was a commitment that, that she made she made an offering of herself in order to attain this wealth but it never worked out in her favor and she understood that in order for her to get where she needs to be she has to attach herself to specific people with specific energies so that she can get um where she needs to be so she's basically an energy vampire and spirit is clarifying that with the, the self card it's coming out in reverse when it's in the upright this is someone that takes care of himself yeah they they practice self-love but they um so um with eros this is um you know kairos kairos talks about um spiritual truth and then the vow <laughs> so these two cards are clarifying this energy that i was talking about that whatever that this vow that was made it was not made on good grounds and these are two individuals that are not happy but they want to keep displaying that oh yeah we are happy we are doing well the truth in all of this is that she's not happy she attached herself to this individual which is heavy so that she can attain wealth she understands that on her own she doesn't really have the value to bring in anything like if she were to divorce um harry no one would care about megan like people would pay attention to her for like a few months and then after that people would even stop talking about her she understands that so yeah the truth in all of this is that megan has been here before and that's why her energy is so deceptive that's why it's very hard for the average person to understand her as a being yeah it's because she's been here before and she's playing a game and she understands like in her past life she wasn't a wealthy person she yeah she was always someone who was always at the back burner that's why she hates not being center of attention because that's what she had to live through in the past when she reincarnated this time around she told herself that yeah i'll do anything to get to the top and that's why it's really confusing and yeah that's why people <laughs> like it's like we we just dislike her because there's just something about her energy that we don't like and it, it explains um this stone energy she has been here before she has done this before and yeah she made an offering when she came to the uk megan had a plan she knew um she knew and also with the six of um cups card it, it talks about the past and you know the reincarnation thing so she's been here spirit is saying that she's been here before and that um her connection with harry has is doomed is basically doomed it's it's all public yeah she she's always going to look for the nectar the honey she's always going to look for the money as long as she can yeah, agape, the unconditional ca unconditional love card is coming out in the shadows. So spirit is saying that there isn't any love here. She's doing it for the money. She doesn't care for love, doesn't care for family. And her having kids is a means. It's her attaching herself. It's like she's creating generational wealth that in her past life she didn't have. Yeah, and this place looks like England. You know, like those old like english towns yeah so her having kids with harry is yeah she it's her making sure that she's basically changing um she's changing her path through attaching herself to specific people i hope i'm making sense but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this reading please like please subscribe please comment and uh thank you all for your support i am back and i feel so much better so yeah um uh, i am glad that you guys have been through 
no have you guys have been supporting me <laughs> for some time and yeah i really appreciate that and happy new year everyone bye